We have our political insiders here for special coverage of the Comey hearing. We have Kevin Harley on the Republican side, Tony May on the Democratic side. I want to talk a little bit about um, the statement that was released yesterday, kind of previewing what was going to happen today. What was the, the purpose, reason for that, and did it affect anything? Well, the Senate Intelligence Committee actually released the statement. Comey, of course, agreed to have his statement released. I think it actually helped the Trump administration because they were able to see what Comey was going to say mm -hmm. and get their talking points in order prior to his testimony today. Right. Did it make it seem like the bombshells were dropped yesterday instead oh, of today? I think, it, I think it kept the proceedings more dignified and orderly and I think that's a good thing over the long haul. Whether it's for good for President Trump or not, it's good for the country that this didn't become a big uh, worldwide wrestling affair here. <laughs> it's still maybe. We don't know. There's still time, yes. Right, right. and that's the thing with time. People, some of them are looking for some conclusion from this or some clarity. How long could this thing really go on for? Whitewater time? lasted six, seven years. It's still not resolved in some people's mind. That was in the Clinton administration dating, for activities dating back to when Clinton was governor of Arkansas. So th these things have a life of their own. And moving forward from there, Kevin, if it takes that long, how much does this influence what the Trump administration can really do and focus on on their agenda? Well, the special counsel Mueller is focusing on Russian involvement in the election. So there's the Trump part of that, but then there's also the entire Russian Tentacles involvement. Tentacles to that, yeah. Correct. So he's the right person for the job. I think he will put his uh, nose to the grindstone and get it done as quickly as, 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 as possible. Whether it's a uh, a whitewater investigation that takes six years, I don't think it'll be that long, but probably, I think probably we'll be dealing and talking about this in at least for a year. Is this the last we'll be hearing from Comey then, or much more to come from him? Well, I think you could see the Judiciary Committee may ask Comey to, to come in and testify. I think uh, you might, I don't think we've heard the last of Jim Comey. And I think that's true, and I think it's the other point that was made today, and it's good that it was made in a calm, sensible fashion, was that the Russians were trying to hack the elections, they're still trying to hack into American computers. It's a cause for concern going forward, and we need to be serious about pursuing it. That's something Tony and I agree on. Okay. So That's go. a good place to end it then, right? <laughs> yes, I think so. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Our political insiders, remember, they're here every Tuesday usually, and they're also on Face the State Sunday mornings at 8.30 on CBS 21.